on guys? Welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel. So today we're gonna go back to the basics of PC building and I'm gonna start with one of the first things that you need to be able to know how to do when building a PC and that is installing your CPU. I'm also gonna make this type of video a regular thing here on the channel and I'll be making an entire video series on how to build your PC step by step by actually separating each part of building your PC into its own video like this one so I can teach you guys each step in much more detail. I'll also have a playlist linked in the description with all these videos in order so you can watch them one by one and get all the information you need to get your new PC up and running. Anyway, we're gonna get right into how to install your CPU right after you learn how you can install Windows 10 and Windows 11 on your system for super cheap using today's video sponsor, VIP URCD key. Are you tired of that annoying Windows activation watermark on your desktop? VIP URCD key has you covered with fully licensed codes to activate your favorite games and software. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item that you want, click buy to add it to your cart. Once in your cart, you can now enter my promo code RAV20. After adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. Finding and entering your Windows 10 CD key is super easy. All you have to do is go over to your user profile, find your purchase and click view keys and codes to reveal your new CD key. Then all you have to do is go to settings and windows, click on update and security, click on activation, and finally click on change product key and paste your new key into the window and click next. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with no watermark. Check the links in the description to start saving now. All right, so you have your new parts for your PC sitting right there in front of you, and yep, I also wish I could just go ahead and like snap my fingers and bam, you know, the PC would be together and working perfectly. Unfortunately, guys, it doesn't work that way. Well, unless you buy a pre-built PC. But anyway, building your own PC from scratch right here is not that hard, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, in today's video, we'll be covering how to install a CPU into your motherboard, and if you came to this video because you actually have to just replace an old CPU with a new one, stick around as well because this guy will show you how to do that too. And I'll be covering both AMD and Intel sockets, and I'll be sticking to the two most common types of sockets from each manufacturer in recent years, because this is what I feel like most of you guys will be coming here looking for a guide on. On the AMD side, they have mainly stuck to what's called a PGA or pin grid array socket in recent years. This means that the processor has pins on the bottom of it, and all the pins must be inserted into their corresponding holes in the motherboard socket to work properly. These pins are also very fragile and can bend super easily, so it's very important to take special care when handling AMD processors. Moving over to Team Blue, Intel has stuck with LGA, or Land Grid Array sockets, for honestly as long as I can remember. This means that the socket of the motherboard itself contains all the contact pins, and the CPU has the corresponding number of gold-plated contact points laid out in a matching pattern. Okay, so now that we understand the difference between an AMD and an Intel processor socket, let's make sure that your parts that you have are actually compatible. CPUs and motherboards do not all just magically work together even if they're from the same manufacturer. You have to check and verify that your chosen CPU does indeed work with the motherboard you've chosen by checking the socket compatibility. For a quick example, I have an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X and an MSI B550 Gaming Plus motherboard. I know that this CPU is compatible with my chosen motherboard because the 3700X is compatible with the AM4 socket that is on this motherboard. And now yes, there is an exception to look out for here. In both AMD and Intel, some CPUs may only be compatible with certain motherboards via a BIOS update. I'm, all, I'm not gonna go super into depth on this though in this video because I want you guys all to just be aware to check for this kind of thing when you're choosing your CPU and motherboard combo because it can vary depending on you know which hardware you guys go ahead and choose. I actually did a video on this with uh, an AMD processor back in the day a couple years ago. So if you guys wanna see that, go ahead and check up here and I'll link that video for you guys. Another great resource you guys can use to check for part compatibility is PCPartPicker.com. You can go ahead and put your CPU and motherboard into your uh, build sheet and it will actually let you know if it's compatible or not or even if you need to do a BIOS upgrade for it to be compatible. All right, so assuming your parts are compatible and that you have them ready to go, let's install that CPU. So go ahead and grab your CPU and motherboard boxes and get them on a clean workspace, preferably a table with some room to work on. With our CPU and motherboard ready to go, go ahead and take your motherboard out of the box and the anti-static bag that it's in and place it on the top of your motherboard box. From here, I'll be showing you how to install an AMD CPU first, and then we'll get to Intel next. All right, guys, so we have our AMD CPU right here and our motherboard as well. So um, if you guys hear any background noise right now, by the way, it's raining outside my window, so I apologize for that. But anyway, 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and install this thing in our motherboard. So first thing you need to do, don't worry about the CPU yet. You can pull it out of the box, like I said, but go ahead and keep it off to the side for now um, until we're ready to handle it. But the socket right here, all you're gonna have to do first is you're going to go ahead and you are going to lift this little latch right here. So all you gotta do is kind of pull it to the side and then just lift it back right there. That's it, keep it just like that. And now one thing I wanted you guys to pay attention to right off the bat is on the side of the socket, there's gonna be this little like triangle or tick mark. So I'm gonna try to lift this up um, closer to the camera so you guys can really get a shot of that. So there you go, it's gonna be up in that corner right there. Look for that little um, tick mark. And there's actually, a, on this motherboard, there's a little white dot on it as well. So you cannot mistake which corner it's, it's, gonna, it's supposed to go in. So now on the CPU itself, there is also a little gold tick mark on it. So this is where I'm gonna go ahead and have you guys go ahead and grab your CPU. Be very careful with this, because like I said, this is an AMD CPU and the pins are on the bottom of it. So you're gonna wanna be very careful. So open it up just like this. Make sure you guys hold it with two hands. Take your one of your hands, whatever your dominant hand is probably, and grab it by the side, just like this. Just grab it by the side of the CPU. Don't ever put your hands on the top of the CPU because you'll get your oils on it. You don't want to do that. And then of course with these AMD CPUs, you don't want to touch the bottom because that is where all of those pins are. They're all right here. You don't want to touch those or bend those in any way because then they will not work. So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and locate this little guy right here. Let me show you that. It'll be right here in this corner. There is a little golden triangle in that corner right there. So that is what you're going to match up with the triangle on the motherboard. So all you're gonna go ahead and do is get it in the correct orientation. Again, hold it with just the sides of your fingers like this. And all you're gonna do is place it right over top of the socket in the correct orientation and literally just drop it in the holes. That is it. You let go and you can give it a little, you know, a little test wiggle like that to make sure that it's fully seated. But that is all you gotta do. Just make sure that it is in the holes just like that. And then if you are confident that that triangle is lined up with the correct corner and everything is good, take the retention arm right here and close it down. All right, now let's move over to Intel and show you how to install an Intel CPU. The initial setup for this is basically the same, you know, getting your both your CPU and your motherboard ready. Uh, go ahead again and take out your motherboard and stick it on the top of the motherboard box. And now I recently did a build with this new Z690 motherboard you're gonna be seeing featuring their new LGA 1700 socket. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my past self in that video explain how to install a CPU in this socket. I can already see on the processor itself, there is a little arrow in the bottom left corner right there. If you guys can see that, let me try to flip it like that. There you go, you guys can probably see that and then on the motherboard itself it tells you right here on the bottom of the uh, the little cover right there that pops out it needs to go right there so basically you match those little triangles up you install the CPU so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now so we're gonna go ahead and pull this lever up let it pop out this goes back like that you're gonna go ahead and grab this and pull it backwards that's it so basically just like it said right there see how the little little carrot tick mark is right there we're gonna go ahead and install the CPU in that exact orientation so that way we have it properly right so we're gonna go ahead and grab this make sure we find the arrow on the CPU itself you can see it's right there in the bottom left corner and then we're gonna go ahead and plop our CPU right there in the socket. So anyway, we got that done. Go ahead and put that um, retention thing down right there. This thing should pop up. Go ahead and put a little bit of pressure right there, throw it on, and this thing pops up and pulls out and you're done. That is it right there. This thing pulls off and you have just installed a new Alder Lake CPU. One thing that I failed to mention there was that with Intel, remember that little cover that I showed you that was on the socket? Make sure you go ahead and keep that and store it in your motherboard box in case you ever have to send that motherboard back in for repairs. They will not accept returns without it because you know you can get bent pins if it's not covered. So make sure you guys do that. Anyway guys, that's it. So if this video helped you out at all, please go ahead and like the video and leave me a comment down below too telling me how it went. Also consider getting subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos on my channel, including the next step in the PC building process which will be installing your RAM on your motherboard. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun with this one. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.